Hi guys, this is GG162 here, I'm back with another video here on the Minecraft Rad Pack server with Team Shenanigans. Today, um, well, since last time, I have, we have, um, put everything in the storage system, you can see the trios are filling up, we have a look at the remote, that's getting pretty full, heaps of room in the double chest, I'm pretty sure, yeah, the double chest, the colossal chest. Heaps of room in there, so there's plenty to go around. And I haven't done much work on the building because I want to see. I'm still thinking of what to do next. Um, but other than that, um, we also you can see we've got a lot of wood saplings and leaves stored in here. Um, in the drawers, as in. As to be say they're bold, that's because we've got some bonsai pots set up, and this cable here goes all the way up through to the storage system, and each there are hopping bonsai pots. You can see them there, and each has got a different tree. So essentially, if we get wood, it's well, look at log actually. Nope, wood was better. A lot of it's going to be stuffed at 2048, and that's because um, they're all got void upgrades to stop them going over that, so we don't fill up this guy. And I think I think it's 32 stacks, 32 stacks of a particular type, which should be enough to use at any one time. Um, and that's really all I've done between episodes. The storage, and you can see this big brick building over here. You are going to see a time lapse of its creation right now. <laughs> Okay, so that was a pretty interesting time lapse, wasn't it? Um, so essentially, what happened with that was I have built this. Well, this episode I had already started previously, but um, 
it actually, well, all my audio got cut out, that's why I'm re-recording this intro. And now I'm going to go show you some other things I've done. So today, what this building is, it's for the a mod called Embers Rekindled. So I'm chuckling this cross line here. As you can see, I've already done some of that. I'm going to go over it now though. Um, at least the beginning of Embers. So the first thing you do in Embers is you craft this ancient codex. And the way you get that is by getting eight, two archaic bricks and a molten core. And this essentially guides you through what each thing does. So gives you info, info about it and you can follow this to get a learn the mod. So one of the first machines we crafted was, well this one of the first things we got was the atmospheric gauge. And this essentially tells you how much ember is in an area to mine. And then with that you get, um, let's set on down. Yeah, this is just a prefab I built, so I didn't have to mine all the way down to bedrock. Um, this machine here, so this machine here, is called the Ember Bore, and essentially you want to do that in an area of high concentration of Ember. You place that, so, oh, you place that so that these touch bedrock, and then this here is a me mechanical core, and this is necessary for this machine because it's only one, one input output slot, so you need a mechanical bore so you can get pipe in and pipe out items. So, and the mechanical core is essentially just an extension of IO for the machine. So now, what you do is you get coal, or any, I think you can use coal blocks as well. A lot of furnace fuels don't work, but coal does. And it will mine, and you'll produce this, those crystals, ember crystal, and ember shards, and ember grit. Now, let's go back up top, because that machine is too loud for us. And now, what you use that stuff for, oh, I've got some in here, perfect, is you use it to generate power for the embers mod. And you can do that in two ways. So, first of all, we don't need that anymore. So, there are two power sources, or well, power generating things. You've got the pressure refinery and the ember activator. Ember activator is your sort of basic one, and your pressure refinery is your upgraded. So over here you can see it's multiplier 1.5. Now, with the pressure refinery, you can actually get that to a, a maximum multiplier of 3.0, and the way you do that is you get a metal block. Um, copper and copper, gold and silver are the ones that you want to use. They are your best conductors, so you want to use those. So that will will give you the ability to get it to three. And then you place the pressure refinery on top of that. You can see it's still 1.5. So that is where we need. To get your lava in. One, two, three, and four. And now you can see that production mark multiplier is three times. Now, the difference between these two machines is this all you need to do is pipe in the crystals and it'll generate ember. This one here, you also need to pipe in water because otherwise it overheats. So I find the best way to do that is to use a sink. Oh, and we need a water bucket for that, so we come out here, there should be and use a sink and then if we get some pipes so we get some item pipes and then we want to get some fluid pipes. Now 
And then we need some extractors. Fluid extractor. We need these Kaminite, Kaminite plates. And to get that, you just raw Kaminite, which you get from, I think it's clay and sand, yep. Make a stack, which will give us 16 plates. And if we come over here to our cross crafting a furnace oh, um sort of crafting stuff hub and then now we should be able to make nope nope so here we go do you have it fluid extractor one and item extractor one Now, I'm also going to go draw because this makes it a bit easier. So what we're going to do is, oh, I'll draw there. Now hopefully these don't burn. Otherwise, we might have to change the chests. But the idea behind it is you get. Oh, I don't. What am I doing? That's weird. That would have spawned on the roof. But one of these drawers is actually meant to be the sink, so. Here we are, so, now, the sink requires a cooking for blockheads mod, so you might not actually have that in your mod pack, but if you do, you can use that. Um, depending on your mod packs, you might have an activist accumulator, or otherwise, you really are stuck with, um, this mod has a fluid um, extractor as well, but this is just better. So fluid extractor and item extractor, and then we need, if we go to the pipe, and then we, we need some item pipe. So the item pipe goes there, and the fluid pipe goes there, and then we want to get a lever. I'm going to use these Kaminite ones because they look better. There we go. And... Oh, what I wanted to show you as well. This Tinker's Lens is fairly useful. So this tells you um, essentially what each, um, what can connect to each part of the machine, so here, items in, so you need to connect a pipe to it, or machine access as lot. so that, you can also cut that, um, mechanical core, you can connect it to that, and here is Ember out, so, it's the same Ember out, so, you now this, um, that can hold, 32,000, so I'm just going to go put one, and now you can, that will produce ember, and also, that doesn't need to be on the bottom anymore, that can go on the top now, and that can show us, look, oh, we've got 72,000 ember, so, Put another one in there. I'm actually just going to lock it, make it easier. But 40 and 40. No. And maybe one more. Because I'm not going to break it now. And we can see we've got a lot of power in there now. 
and then we can move the power um, using ember emitters and receptors. So the emitter sends and the receptor receives. And just as get a copper cell to begin with. Oh, copper, what was it? Copper, yeah, copper cell. Just to showcase this and I'll make sure we've got the hammer. Yep, there we are. So, there you place the receptor on what's receiving and the, sorry, the receptor on what's giving and the receptor what's receiving and then we shift right click on that and that will select the target and if you hover on the hammer it shows where it's ta targeting and then you right click on the middle and you'll hear that bing, big ding sound and that's connected and now you need another lever to power that and that will transfer the power so if we get another dial Ember dial. We can put that on there, and you can see that's transferring around 40 ember per cycle, and that's got 24,000 capacity. So not all of this will go in there. That's got about a thousand capacity. So 24,000, a thousand there, and then the rest will stay in this emitter and this machine bit smart like that. Then you can take an emitter and then off the copper cell, as you can see through the lens, it's ember dot meaning it's input and output and we can say we can put it into other machines when we get them. So I'm gonna go ahead and do some crafting. My Goal with the embers. Well, this this area here is good. Mac mechanical pump would be how you got this pressure water through the pressure refinery. Um, this damper, melter, mixer, centrifuge, and stand damper is really good. The half coil not really useful because we've got the fast furnaces, so I won't or might make it, won't even craft it. And then. My goal is to get to isolated material, so that and that will allow us to repair these with next to no cost. Um, as you can see, this mod pack also gives information about it. That and the other one area I want to get to is the clockwork tools, because they are very powerful as well. For now, I am just going to get this place up and running. Um, I will say, if you are tackling this mod, <laughs> you want roughly around this so this much room because, let me tell you, you are going to need it. <laughs> All right, so you're gonna have another. Okay, so I've done some crafting, and as you can see, I've got a whole heap of different parts from embers in my inventory. So, essentially, what we're about to do is build a. It's all based around this block here, the mixer centrifuge. This here, if you look at the recipe, well, its uses. It's a crafting tool that allows us to create Dawnstone, which is Dawnstone ingots or Dawnstone. Its uses, you can see it's got a lot of crafting recipes. So it really is going to be an essential system at least to get us until we get the Dawnstone seeds. So. Well, so first of all, 
I'm going to build it backwards because I want it to end here. So. We're going to do, we're going to place an item extractor there, put lever, and that can always be powered. Put the bin on top, item pipe. Now, one thing I didn't, didn't mention in the previous clip is that I could be, I don't need to be using the embers pipes, I can actually use. Fit. You can use any sort of pipe, um, it'll work, such as the extra utilities. Oh. No. Okay, all these work, so don't need to use um, the amp stuff. I just find I like keep into the same mod, just so. If someone's following along and they don't have this mod pack, they can still get a good idea. And then on top of it, so that's the stamper base, and then we want to place the stamper. So this here, well, I've got this pull rack here already. Here, this will allow us to place like a bar or whatever, really, and we can create mod. We can stamp out ingots, plates, and whatnot, so we don't. So you can do it all through that. And on top of that, we want a receptor. And then we get out of there. Now I am going to place the exocentrifuge now. Here should be fine. And a fluid extractor and a fluid pipe. Now, what we can do with the Tinker Sama is get rid of that just by right clicking, and obviously, no lever there, and that will constantly pull any processed. And now, if we have a look here, we can see my ember's got to come from the top, so another receptor there. Next up, I'm going to get some melters. I've got four, but I only need three. Just like that. And we'll get th some fluid pipes. That, that. Oh. I'm not sure how to get those out, but other than that. And then we need to get the fluid extractors. And now we need the hammer. Let's go with that, with that, and that. So that allows us to go into three different slots so we can melt down three different metals. And now we need receptors along the bottom. So, as you can see, and inputs down the bottom. Oh, hold on. That's strange. And that will. Give us a now functioning setup. Now the only thing you need to do now is provide each thing with power. So what I like to do is to craft a bunch of dials. Also, also don't forget every extractor needs power. So I'm just gonna make a bunch of dials just so I can see how much power everything has. And six so won't be hard for that, but we can have a, we can take it from there and if we see they've got their full we can guess that and that. So now, we shift right click there, shift right click there, create a lever, well, we'll use this regular one for now, 
Power that. And you can see that's going to there now. What you want to power that, that, that. And this here will allow us, like I said, to make Dawnstone. By mixing copper and gold, it also allows us to make Electrum and Bronze. You can also do Woven Oil, but I'm not sure what that's for, so I'll ignore that for now. See that's filling up, but that's really slow. So, eventually, what we'll be able to do down the track is make this ember ejector and a crystal cell, and that will allow us to store more ember and also output more ember. And this, so one thing I love about this mod is how good this looks, it's really aesthetically great pleasing mod to look at. It's like Botanica and mods that just they look they just look good. Fuck it actually visual effects. But anyway, I'm gonna go get these machines all filled up and I'll come back later. Alright, I'm actually going to end it off here. I actually do have more footage for today's video, but I'm going to save it for next time because this video is running a little long and it doesn't really matter if I hold off on, on it because it's not really essential. So you'll be seeing another machine next week that's already been built. You can see an exclusive preview through the window on the left. Um, but anyway, oh, thank you guys for watching and if you got any suggestions or just want to leave a comment, it'll be greatly appreciated. Um, any feedback is going to help help me grow this channel, so um, please leave that down below. Bye!